Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. We are back in my room because my children have decided that they would like to have a camp out or sleepover in the living room and they're watching a movie and I just could not wait to film this because as you can see from the title, my boxy charm, boxy Lux got here. It was waiting for me on my couch when I got home from work today. Hence this mess you see of a hair and face. But we're going to go ahead and film this anyways because why not keep it real on this channel? Let's just be real. And um, I know you guys have seen me a million times without my makeup on with my hair a mess. So why change now? Anyways, my name is Isabel. Welcome to my channel if you are new here. Um, I talk really, really fast and I kind of have resting bitch face, but I assure you I am not a mean person. It is just literally my face. I cannot change it. I know it doesn't look like I'm really excited, but I can tell you I am very, very excited for this big boy because um, for choice items, I think you picked two or three items for this. I don't remember. All I remember was seeing a weighted eye mask for sleep and um, I have really, I suffer from anxiety already so I just really wanted that to see if a weighted anything would help with my anxiety at night. So I'm going to go ahead and just cut her open and hopefully I did get my mask because I did get the email confirmation saying that I was going to get my mask. So, alright and here's a little peekaboo right there and there is a box and it's glam vibes only and I got variation 18 so variation 18 is what I got so the first thing I see is this really cute um her lease the complexion authority um, I believe it's an eye set. I, not an eye set. An eye brush set. There's... Let me see. It's a travel essential 12-piece cruelty-free brush set. And it retails for $49. So, I like getting brushes. I use brushes. Oh, these are really soft. I probably shouldn't put it on my face because I haven't sanitized or cleaned it. But, I mean, look at my face already. She's a mess. They're really soft. They're really, really soft. I do have a lot of brushes, so I might, I might give these to my daughter if she shows interest in doing makeup. She um, has expressed to me that she wants her own bag box because she sees me opening so many. And so I did sign her up for the Ipsy and I'm going to see how she likes it. I was thinking maybe doing Ipsy versus Ipsy, mother versus daughter. Because I got her the Glam Bag Plus, which is $12. Um, so let me know down below if that's something that you guys are interested in. If you guys want to see something like that. See my daughter open her box. See me open my box. Kind of compare the two and see how they go. And you guys can see what box you like. And kind of what, if there's a difference um, in them or not. But anyways, <laughs> back to BoxyCharm Boxy Lux. And I didn't say this. This box is $50.00 every three months so in place box charm has three tiers they have the base box 25 the boxy premium which is 35 and those both are every month it is every month you get those box you get billed the 25 and the 35 and every three months you will get boxy lux and on those months you will not get a base box so this month i did not get a base box and i was charged an additional like $24.99 or $25 to make this box $50. So um, $49, this pays for the box already. Love it. Next item is the Kate Somerville Exfoliate. Um, it is green. It does have a strong scent to it. Um, but it does work. It leaves your skin feeling baby soft and beautiful at the end. I love this stuff. I have like two of these already. And when I saw that this was a choice, this, this was a choice. The Perlease the Pure, the Pure, um, eye brush set was not 
but this was a choice and I did pick this. Can you not? I have a thief in here. She's trying to steal stuff. Um, so the next thing I'm going to show you guys is by Persona Lip Gloss Vegan Gluten Free. That's what she looks like and that's what my girl was trying to steal. This is why I don't do these videos in here anymore. And it's season one lip gloss. Remember the first time you wore a lip gloss and how it made you feel sultry, effortless, instantly refreshed? We took that magic feeling of a gloss emulated the tacky glittery gooiness and added nourishing oils to create a comfortable high shine formula that you'll actually want to wear all right and i got mine in the shade honey you guys see that it is in the shade honey excuse my nails they are dirty like i said i just got home from work open this up so it's like a nice dark brownish color um I'm gonna swatch it because if I don't like it I can always give it away um let me see so that's what she looks like it's not a bad color I think it would look nice let's try some on I actually like that. I didn't think I would. The little doe foot applicator, whatever you call it. Um, I don't know if you guys can see that. Put this down. It's flimsy. Can you guys see? It's like super, like, I'm barely putting any fl pressure, and it's like so. Um, but that's like literally the only complaint I have. It feels really nice on the skin. It looks really nice. I didn't think I'd like the color because it looks a little dark on here. But it is sheer. And I'm wearing it. It feels good. It's not sticky. It smells delicious. So I'm very happy to get this. And this, I don't know if I said it. It retails for $16. So the next thing I'm super excited for, I got is the Fenty Beauty um, <sighs> Kilowatt Highlighter. I really wanted the, um, they had like a pink one that I really, that I saw. <gasps> that one was beautiful, but this was my second choice for like, not that you got to choose, but like in hopes, you know, like when you see things, you're like, oh, I'll take that one or that one. Um, so this is in mint mojito and sandcastle and that's what she looks like it's very beautiful they are very pigmented from everything that i have seen look at that beautiful I don't know if I would be bold enough to wear the blue one out or like on my cheeks or anything. I probably shouldn't put anything because I have oil coming out of my oil glands. And um, so yeah, I definitely will play around with this and I'll probably do like a video on Saturday or I don't know when of like all of the I'll probably have to do two boxy charm videos. I'll tell you why right now because I did get a oh wait. That retails for $36. And then I got the hip dot eyeshadow palette. And where's that? It's the Zion eyeshadow palette conjuring the majestic beauty of the natural sweeping Utah canyons take your look to the next level with dramatic reds, deep oranges, and the rich purples of Zion. Cruelty free, vegan, talc free, paraben free, um, phthalate free, and mineral oil free. $30. Oops, I'm like reading that. It's all the way down here. Why didn't you guys say anything? <laughs> so. 
This looks like a nice, beautiful, clean palette. I cannot wait to play with this. It is beautiful. That like purple right there is calling my name. Maybe these two, maybe do a look with these two. I don't know, we'll see. It's a beautiful palette, I love it. Um, I cannot wait to play with it. No, you can't have it. And the next thing that I got, which I know has a high like value in like price, it's just I was hoping for something else, is the 111 Skin Face Mask. It is a five pack and um, it retails for like a hundred and something dollars. $135 for five sheet masks. That is insane. It is crazy. Um, I'm not the most excited for this, but I'm not mad that I got it, if that makes sense. Um, my daughter and I do do a lot of sheet masks together, so we will get a lot of use out of them. It's just an insane price tag for some sheet masks. Um, that, that, that's an expensive sheet mask is what I'm trying to say, the long version of it. So there's that. And mm, I really wanted a hand cream. There was like a hand cream in there, the Ahava, I think it was, hand cream. I was really hoping for that because I need some hand cream. But I did not. I got a Care Therapy Deep Conditioning Mask. Um, it's keratin infused. This intense nourishing and hydrating treatment re revives hair that has been dried or damaged, environmental or styling stress, jojoba walnut and chestnut oils penetrate deeply into the hair, resulting an unparalleled moisture, strength, elasticity, and brilliant shine. $24. So I'm going to have to look into this and see if it is paraben free and um, sulfur free, I think is what I do. Um, I don't know. Basically, I use clean stuff for my hair because um, I have really thin hair and I'm trying to keep what little bit I have. But um, if I can use this and it is a clean product, then I will be more than happy because my hair could use some more. This is always good to have. If not, then I will most likely give this to my daughter or sell it because she has way better hair than me. Her hair is so thick. It's so beautiful. It's so annoyingly beautiful. Um, so she can probably get away with using stuff like this. Whereas I can't, if I put too much product in my hair, as you can see, it's thin. Um, it kind of just weighs it down. Like my hair already looks oily. I literally washed my hair this morning, um, before work, after I did my workout and my hair, looks like it's two day old hair already like it's ridiculous anyways the one thing i was most excited for is my sleeping mask the gravity oh, sit down. the gravity sleeping mask let me read a little bit about that it's um this weighted sleep mask uses the same science behind the gravity weighted blanket to give your face the perfect pressure stimulation, it also blocks out light and feels amazing. Thanks to a combination of gray micro plush and imitation cashmere. Retail value $40. Oh my god, that is crazy. They did have a weighted blanket at um, the 99 cent store. I don't even know if it's called the 99 cents anymore because everything's like a dollar ninety nine, four ninety nine, five ninety nine, ten ninety nine. Um, but it was like 20 bucks, I think. I think it was like 15, 20. I don't know. It was more than a dollar. And, um, I almost picked it up, but it was open and it was, a, it's during this time, you know, it was open. You could tell somebody pulled it out and had played with it, touched it. Oh, yes. Oh, I was so excited to film this just so I can use this tonight, you guys. Oh my god, I should probably stop putting it on my face because I have makeup and oil and dirt 
from my older. But that does feel amazing. I am excited to get this. I'm going to have to keep it in the bag and put it up so that my beautiful girl doesn't get it, huh? So you don't eat it and chew it up? Yeah. All right, guys. So that is everything I got in my boxy Lux box. Let's quickly go over it. I'll leave the retail value down here because I'm too lazy to find a cal uh, calculator or do the math in my head. So I'm just going to go ahead and when I edit this, I'll just go ahead and put it down here somewhere, there, 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 I don't know, somewhere. And um, I'm sure it's an insane amount because the 111 skin thing is... $135. And then we had another item that was $85. Oh, they, I don't know if I told you that, but yeah, this is $85, y'all. $85. Whenever a boxy pop up has them, it's usually like $12, I think. $12, $15. I don't know. It's really cheap when boxy pop up has them. Um, and I always pick up a backup and I will never get rid of them. I, I don't care. If you are like my best friend and I have nothing to give you on your birthday, I will not part with my Kate Somerville. I might buy you an extra. I might buy an extra to give to you, but I'm 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 not gonna go to my stash. I'm like a dragon with with my skincare and makeup. I really am. I'm like a dragon. You can't take it from me. <laughs> but anyways, $85. $135, $50, $40, this was like $35, this was like $30, I don't know how much this was, and this was like 16 bucks. So all of this for 50 bucks. I am very happy with my box, I am so so happy. This is a beautiful palette super beautiful can't wait to play with this i might be a little dairy and actually use that blue on my face we'll see i'm feeling a little spicy right now but probably not later we got the exfoliant we got a set of 12 brushes we got a hair mask it's always nice and that, that's why i like this box because it's not all makeup it's also like you know like and like health stuff hair stuff. I like getting hair stuff in my boxes. I know not everybody is a fan of it, but I really do because honestly, I don't have the money to go out and buy all these different kinds of things to see what I like, what I don't like. So when I get it in boxes, it's a good time to try things and to see if I like them and to see what works for my hair. Um, and then if it works, I'll probably shell out the money for it because I need to keep her looking good, but she does not look good now. Um, but anyways, we got a hair mask. We got five, not one, not two, not three, not four, but five one, one, one skin masks. Not the most exciting thing to get in a box. I know, but sheet masks are good for you. They make your skin look beautiful. They make you feel good. Just put it on. Drink a margarita. Watch watch an episode of your favorite show. Kick your feet up. Relax. And 20 minutes will pass and then your skin will be beautiful. And then we also got this lip gloss, which I am currently wearing and I actually like. I didn't think I'd like it when I opened it, to be honest. I was a little skeptical. But I tried it on. Um, she wiped off. And Look at that. It's still shining. Beautiful. And then we got the weighted sleeping mask. So that is everything I got in my box, you guys. Thank you for putting up with my rambling today. I know today I came a little more out of my shell. I would, I'm just really excited about this box. This is, I think, my favorite Boxy Lux box so far that I have gotten. I know the last, last month we got the Kylie skin thing. Um... It's all right. It's all right. I don't know if any of you even care. Like, no one even asked me, but I'm going to give you my opinion on it. It is all right. It's not the best thing. I wouldn't go out and buy it and purchase it and be like, I need this in my life. But um, I have it. I use it. My daughter uses it. For me, 
I do have oily skin and when I use it, my face feels so dry afterwards. And that normally doesn't happen until like the middle of winter when it's super cold. Then my face kind of starts feeling a little dry. Um, so, but that's okay. I mean, it's the beginning of your skincare routine. Um, you can throw on a, a spray, some essence, some lotion. I mean, you can always fix that. So it's not, it's not a complete deal breaker. I can I personally don't like the smell of it. It smells like, um, I don't know what it smells like, but it just, it's a strong fragrance for me and I don't like it. My daughter loves it. She uses it all the time. So, um, I'm just going to let her keep using it because I'm not the biggest fan of it, but I am, I also don't hate it, if that makes sense. Anyways, um, I don't even know if I'm going to keep this in because I'm rambling and talking so much. Um, thank you guys so much for sticking around with me. I truly, truly appreciate each and every one of you that is here watching these videos with me and, and helping me grow and get better every single upload. It really does mean the world to me that you guys are here for me and I hear you. I feel you. I see you. I thank you. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. I love you all so, so much, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bless you.